Yay! <clears throat> that one's called, This is the Beginning of the End of the Decade. It's a couple years old, a couple, three years old, perhaps, if you can uh, ascertain what that song is about. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed that. That Oh, we recorded that for our virtual psychedelic uh, rock group. Nabucco Dinosaur. Nabucco Dinosaur. Available on all of your uh, preferred stream platforms. And um, we went pretty far, but then it just didn't come together. My lyrics were really crap. I'll have to re-look at that. Maybe they're not as bad as I remember. Maybe we can tool that up and get it out. Thinking of doing an album. What do you think? Oh, I have another question. Well, anyway, let's just do an art update real quick, and then we'll get into the questions. So, I'm really procrastinating on this one. Actually, no, I had some stuff to do, administrative um, matters to attend to this morning, so I got up here kind of late, and uh, when I'm painting, I really like to work in the uh, sunlight to get the, the true color, otherwise uh, I have to use these lamps, and as you can see, they aren't very uh, effective uh, color-wise. Um, anyhow, so um, here's uh, this new uh, Chimenea sous la Rue de Cascade in the series. It's a twofer. It's the same uh, subject, iterated twice, sort of opposites of each other. And um, all I did today was uh, manage to get this tin pot type aspect of the this chimney ash can, I think it's called. And uh, I did that with paint marker. And you can see um, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just blocking in the tones, basically. The color is pretty close, but I'm going to go over it again with paint and uh, give it a little bit more nuance after that. And you can see I'm using crazy colors for the chimneys. Just trying to keep it interesting, keep myself motivated. And I'll have to have these done on Saturday. So tomorrow I'm going to bust ass and get the chimneys, the brick, the um, uh, terracotta of the chimneys blocked in. A funny little feature right here. And the lintels. So I've got my work cut out for me tomorrow because I do want to deliver these on Saturday. My friend uh, Faustine is having um, her uh, experimental uh, stop motion films um, showing at the gallery where I was invited to uh, post or to um, deposit to show some work. So I've got to get these done. Now what I've been thinking about these questions is, okay, so yesterday I queried, you know, should I, uh, someone's New Year's resolution was to do less better. So I was thinking, should I slow down these um, podcasts? It takes about an hour to do. It's an 11 minute performance, but there's the setup and then the subsequent uh, hashtagery and posting. Hashtags are a hassle, man. Um, and also, I'm wondering if I should split my Instagram accounts. Um, because my Instagram, which is Electric Paul, is mostly podcast now. So I'm wondering if I should split, make Electric Paul just more image based and then make a separate. Uh, podcast account. What do you think of that? Let me know what you think. And uh, the last, um, okay, and also as part of the art update, I've got, I've, we've got a décrochage, a moment, uh, le 15, c'est, uh, c'est quoi, uh, c'est un dimanche, en fait, à un um, microbrasserie, en fait. Uh, s'appelle Patoche. C'est ce moment, P-A-T-O-C-H-E, et ils ont le très bon bien, c'est vrai. Et euh, on va faire la fête là-bas et euh, décrocher nos heures. Then, there's going to be another show that following Friday, I believe. So that would be the 19th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, or is that Thursday? Or? And... Uh, um, I, I've applied to showing that one, but uh, since I'm already showing this week, uh, this period, this previous show, um, maybe we'll let someone else have a chance, huh? And uh, so that's what's coming up. And what else? Oh, I got a couple callbacks for films. So one for an English-speaking role in a long metrage. So 
going to go for an audition on Friday, I believe. And um, voila, quoi. Should we end up with a little bit of philosophy, or do you want more? Uh, this is the beginning. This is the beginning of the end of the decade. Don't everyone speak at once? Maybe <clears throat> I'll do a little bit of law of attraction. Do you know this book? Le loi de l'attraction pour les nuls, for dummies. Um, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I, I didn't really know it. Like this chapter right here is a loi. Or this uh, headline bullet point is a uh, the loi de l'attraction est une religion ou la doctrine d'une secte? Is it a religion or a doctrine of a sect? Plusieurs personnes uh, comparent malheureusement encore la loi la loi de l'attraction à une sorte de secte ou de religion. Et même rien. La loi de l'attraction, comme son nom l'indique, est une uh, loi au même titre que la loi de la gravité. So what they're saying is, it's not a religion, it's not a sect, it's a law, like it says. It's and it's and it's a equivalent. It's just something that is as sure as gravity. Diriez-vous que la loi de gravité est une secte? Would you say that gravity is a sect? Il y a peut-être des sectes qui se sont créées autour de la loi de la gravité. Maybe there are some sects that are created around the concept of gravity, the law of gravity. Cependant, de prime abord, les lois universelles, comme la loi de l'attraction ou la loi de la gravité, régissent notre univers et n'ont rien à voir avec des sectes. So it's a little bit like the force, is what they're saying. They, um, they uh, are unified within the universe. And uh, they have nothing to do with sex, or so they say. Sects, not sex, you nasty minded people. Let's get a little bit more of this. Thank mm -hmm. you.